So what we are trying to understand over here is like how to find the area of a cuboid. So as you can see, like you have opened the cuboid and overall it is made up of rectangles. Yes, Anna, you were saying something. Can you just elaborate? Yeah, so like, um, well, like when I opened the box, I realized that some of them, um, some of the parts had like the same Some length. of the faces. Yeah, some of the faces had the same length. Same length because and breadth. Same length and breadth. So the parallel sides would have like the same length. Yeah. Yeah. So for example, over here, A and D will be equal. Like you have mentioned over here, A is equals to D, B is equals to E, and C equals to G, isn't it? That you can do it by, a, by taking a box also. And you can observe that opposite faces are equal in length and breadth, whatever. Yes? Yes, Anna? That is what you are trying to say? Yes. Okay. Since they are rectangles, you found out area of rectangle of this A shape. So L into B, whatever the length was, 2 into 4, whatever. Area of B shape rectangle, then area of C shape rectangle. Then you added them since they were equal. So 2 times that, plus 2 times that, plus 2 times that. And you got the area as 105 centimeter square. Yes? Am I correct? That's the way you were thinking? Yes. Now, our objective is to derive a formula out of it. Yes? One second. Yeah. So, I hope your shape was something like this. Original shape without the net, like before opening it as a net. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. So, see, I understand you are taking L into B, L into B, L into B. That's correct. By definition, it's correct. But what happened when we talk about 3D shapes, 3D, it has length, breadth, and height, three dimensions. They are basically side one, side two, and side three only, nothing different. But for the sake of convenience of saying it, we call them L and B H. So this is known as length, like this, 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 this. All these are length. Making sense? Yes, Anna? Yes. Yes. These are breadth. Because this is the basic rectangle, the base rectangle. So this is known as length and breadth. And this is not just breadth. This is also breadth. This is also breadth. This is also breadth. Okay. Similarly, the third, this one, this is called height. So this is height. This is height. This is height. This is height. Okay. Now, if I pay attention, this C figure is basically my basic figure C. Making sense? The base. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, for the C, can I say L into B? Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you imagine what, where is D in my figure? Or A? Let's talk about A. Where is A in my figure? Aaron, would like um, to the... This left. Making sense? 
Yeah, can you imagine that? This will go like this now. Yes or no? Yes. So if I talk about this or talk about this, isn't it the same thing? So what is the area of this face in terms of formulas? L. Sir, so it should be for A. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, so shouldn't it be H into B? Yeah, B into H or H into B. And let's talk about uh, B, B shape. So my B shape, where is B shape first of all? I think it is behind, making sense? It is somewhere behind. Yes. Sir. This is B. So can you tell me what is the formula for that? I guess length into height. Yes. Since you have added them in the next one second. Yeah. Since you added all of them, can you see that two times? So can I write the formula as two bracket LB L into B plus two bracket B into H? plus two bracket L into H. Sana, is this thing clear? Yes. Did you understand the formula, how to derive it? Since two yes. common, two LB plus BH plus HA is the total surface area of cuboid. What you did is logically correct, but we need to give some names to it. So we gave LBH and LBH. So because of that, we got L into B, B into H plus H into L. So two faces, two faces, two faces. In total, six faces are there. That's why we got total surface area as Two bracket LB plus BH plus H. Is this thing clear? Yes. Sir. Okay. Quickly copy this thing. Then we'll talk about uh, lateral surface area of the void. So, do you have any idea what does lateral surface area means? Hmm? Yes, no, you can say no also if you don't know. No, sir. Okay. What about you, Sana? Any idea? Okay. So you can write down the definition because this definition, might, like this word is new, I guess. So lateral surface area basically basically means excluding top and bottom. This term actually got introduced because in painting, we don't paint floor. and ceiling, isn't it? Yes or no? Do we, yes. paint, do we paint the floor? No, sir, we don't. We don't paint the floor. Because of that, or 
or we have another meaning of it only four walls of the room okay so when we have a cuboid with us we try to paint this side this side back side and left side so we have four rectangles if we pay attention to the four rectangles it is this l b no not l b this is l h and behind also it is l h yes or no we say yes no otherwise yes. what about this shape this one this is b h and other side also it is bh isn't it so basically two bracket lh plus bh is it okay and h is also common so this is basically the formula for lateral surface area of cuboid okay i have one more perspective for lateral surface area but i will talk about it um, next time first of all please digest this thing so now is this thing clear yes so what we have learned as of now total surface area of cuboid and lateral surface area of cuboid okay so based on that i will be continuing to be frank i have made already one video full fledged video three parts and that is already there in, on youtube but i want to discuss in a detailed manner also that's why i'm discussing this less than 1 minute is left quickly copy <laughs> 